So if you have a chandelier and you're wondering how to clean all these tiny little crystals, I'm gonna show you today. So in our bathroom, we have this chandelier just above our bathroom mirror and it needs cleaning. It's very dusty and I wanna show you how I end up cleaning all of these tiny little crystals. So you can also see inside, it's very, very dusty. Now in cleaning a light, something like this, you wanna make sure that you don't touch hot bulbs because they can explode, especially if you get water on them, you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna be playing it safe and I'm going to be turning off our bathroom light, which is this light right here, the crystal one that I wanna wash. So unfortunately, when I do that, here, I'll show you. It is very dark in our bathroom. So, so I'm going to be using a flashlight. At least then you guys can still see how I remove all the crystals. You can see how gross they look. I'll try to rig up a few other lights so you can have a better view while I'm taking off the crystals and then I will bring you into the daylight, show you how I clean them, how I clean this lamp and how long it takes. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I have this kind of rigged up here. Lighting system isn't the greatest as it's very dark in here still, um, but I will do my best on trying to show you uh, how I clean this bathroom light. It doesn't even have to be a bathroom light. It just has to have all these little crystals on. So I'm going to be using, it's just a kitchen strainer just to keep all of my crystal gems inside. Now on this one, the gems just hang loosely inside this light. So I'm just going to be picking them off. So you can just pull them out and you can see kind of, I will show you in the bright light. Um, I'll show you better how, how dirty they actually are. They're very dusty. So you can just uh, hang them, either just hang them on to your strainer on the outside, or you can just drop them right in, depending on how much work you wanna put into it. The more organized you are, just by hanging them, they won't get all tangled up this way. So we're just going to pick all of these crystals off, and then we'll get into cleaning them. So there we have all of our crystals off there and we're going to wipe this down because it's a very dirty, very dusty. In order to clean this light, I'm using Norwex rags. This is an Enviro cloth from Norwex, right there. And this is a window cloth from Norwex. So this one is wet and this one is dry. I will link a video in this video, if you don't know much about Norwex, you can check it out. They have some great cleaning products along with a lot of other things. So you can see how gross this light is. So we're just gonna kind of wipe it off. Try to get all that dirt off. And these rags do an amazing job on trying to get all the dirt. I know it's very hard to see. I'm sorry that this room is dark, but unfortunately this bathroom does not have a window. And they only have a few flashlights. But just wipe it down. If you have a hard time getting into the little nooks and crannies, you're you can always just take a toothbrush or a very fine brush, it doesn't matter what kind of brush it is, and just brush it lightly.
Next, I'll just take the dry cloth and wipe over that so it takes away any kind of little water spot. Or if there's any extra little dust hanging on. Next, your light bulbs might be still kind of hot, so you don't want to touch them. So just by going inside, put your finger inside of the rag and lightly wiping along the back side of the mirrored glass or whatever back you have on your glass. Just kind of wiping the dust away, making sure not to touch the bulb. You can see it's pretty dirty. Once you're done with the white, with the wet rag, use your dry rag. Again, to clear away any of those water spots or smear marks. And then do the same to the top. Again, not touching your light bulbs. and then finish off with the dry rag. There we go. Now that your wall part is done, we're gonna go wash off the crystals. So I wanted to show you that on top here, there are two bars where the crystals hang from. You may have a similar one. The crystals typically just hang off of your chandelier so it's easier to remove and clean. Crystals into my strainer, my kitchen strainer. So like I said you can either hang them just to keep them less tangled or just toss them all into the strainer and I will show you how I clean them. So here's the rag that's still dirty from cleaning the light part of the chandelier. So to clean these rags, all you need to do is just rinse them out with water and you can use it again. You can use these rags over and over and over and over before you wash them. They help kill, to kill germs and they are amazing cleaning rags. I've used these rags for years and they are my favorite. All right, so on to cleaning the gems. So you can see, let's show you here. First off, make sure to put a protector in your sink. Don't close it though, just make sure it's there so nothing falls down your drain. Now, I want to show you how dirty these are. They are disgusting. So, an easy way to do it, you can see the dirt is just sticking to my hands too. The easy way to do it is we're just going to rinse it off and we're just going to use ordinary dish soap to clean them. Where did I push? <laughs> Where did I put my dish soap? You can use any kind of dish soap. I'm just going to be using Dawn. Like I said, you can hang them from the side to keep them more organized. It just takes more time.
once you have them rinsed off, you can see they are a bit cleaner, but there still is like a dusty, sticky residue on them. This is where the soap comes in handy. So just put some soap in your hands. And give those beads, those gems, a scrub. If you had them hanging on the side of the container, so if you're just doing one, then just scrub it one by one. If you have more time and patience. All right, so now that we have them all kind of scrubbed up, we're going to rinse them off. So once you have them all rinsed off, they should be clean. Now it's time to dry. So using your Norwex window cloth, it's great for drying. Just lay it down and place all of your gems on your window cloth. Or if you don't have a window cloth, then just use any dry towel. Again, you can just lay them out separately to untangle them and let them air dry or just take them all, place them onto the towel You can see that the towel is getting a little bit more wet. And just dry them off. Again, if you have more time, you can do them individually just to wipe them off. It's just a quick and easy way to clean your gems. Crystals. And if you're not quite sure if they're dry, I'm going to show you one more trick. Push it aside, bring another dry cloth, lay it down, and dump these ones on top. So you can see they were a little bit damp still, but now that we've gotten the second dry cloth out, they are a lot more dry. They will dry more themselves. If you're worried about spot cleaning and you're super picky, like I said, 
you can go and dry every single individual gem. Personally, I'm not that picky, so it's good enough. All right, so once this is all washed clean and dry, it's time to hang them back up. So we'll just pick up this rag and head off to the bathroom. So I'm just going to place them into the sink. I did close the drain so it won't, none of them will fall inside. So you can leave the light on, but I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to touch any of the hot bulbs. Set you guys up here again. All right, so now it's time to hang on the gems. We'll come back once all the gems are hung up. And here is the final gem. There we go. All of the gems are back on the light. Let's go ahead and turn it on and see what it looks like. Ta-da! Beautiful. They're all clean. That was easy, nice and sparkly and bright. So the whole process took around 20 minutes. That is climbing a ladder, taking off the crystals, wiping down the main light part, and then washing all the crystals drying them and hanging them back up. This is a smaller crystal chandelier. So if you have a bigger chandelier, it will take a little longer. This is the way that I clean the chandelier. I just keep it simple. Now that all the dust is off, I am super happy. So thanks for tuning in to watch this video on how to clean a small chandelier easy and quick. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, feel free to go and subscribe and remember to click the notification bell to be notified for each and every time a new video is posted. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, if it was helpful to you. So leave a comment if you'd like and love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.